what's up guys welcome back to another video this is a reaction to the eight most disturbing things caught in dash cam footage been quite a long time since i've done one of these reactions and this one just popped up and i saw it on my youtube feed and i thought i've got a lot of reactions to do why not just react to loads of random things like this and again i used to react to if i've probably reacted to like four or five of these videos and they're always sometimes they're just a bit like they're not actually that disturbing but sometimes they are a bit messed up like there was one where like, kidnapping and stuff someone's like driving down um a quiet road and then they see some crazy stuff going on and yeah it's there's sometimes some sh really wild stuff in these videos but sometimes it's just like meh but um i still get creeped out with them because it's just like i'm sort of putting myself in the shoes of the driver and like how i'd be in that situation i would be i don't know my head would be gone but we're gonna check this out anyway hopefully you're going to enjoy if you want to see some more reactions like this let me know in the comments and yeah let's just jump into this so I just hate driving down dark roads, man. That's enough for me. <laughs> With this context. The stash cam video was captured on a freeway in Glendale, California. It shows a Tesla abruptly slamming on its brakes as the driver gets out. The man is wielding some kind of lead pipe. He approaches the car with the dash cam and immediately starts slamming the window. What the fuck? Did they have something going on before or something? Why is your car just staying there? Oh. <laughs> Somehow the window doesn't shatter, after which the man simply gets back in his car and continues driving. Later down the road, he was captured on the same dash cam attacking another car. The car is shown speeding away from the attacker. Oh, so he's just um got something crazy going on in his head then, yeah? The incident was reported to police, but the Tesla didn't have any license plates, so they were unable to locate it. Over the next few days, police received multiple more calls reporting similar experiences. One of these was also caught on dash cam. Same person again? What the hell? Wow. What? What, what a weird man. After a few more days, police were finally able to locate the man. He was 36-year-old Nathaniel Radimak, who already had a lengthy criminal record with active warrants out for his arrest. What the fuck? Among the recent random road rage incidents, throughout earlier years, he also took part in serious criminal threats and stalking in a total of eight different states across the country. This is just one messed up individual, to say the least. What the hell? Is this your hobby? Behind your hobby is just stopping people then smashing their cars. What a sad life. The highway attacks was never made clear. What the fuck? Currently, Nathaniel's being kept in jail on a bail set at over $5 million. Fucking hell. Five mil. This dash cam footage was taken on January 25th, 2021, the middle of winter. In Russia? Snow is on the ground as this car drives along a canyon in Utah. Oh, it's, it's in the U.S. As the car approaches a section of road with no guardrails, a pickup on the other side of the road loses control due to the icy conditions. Aww. It's forced into an oncoming Subaru. The two vehicles drop down the ledge below, all caught on this car's dash cam. Bro. To be fair, I mean, it doesn't look like they went flying off and they're like sliding down. I don't know how far they would go, but... I mean, we're probably going to find out what happened after, but hopefully nothing's too serious happened. Like, he gets hit. And they're, like, sliding down. It's going down relatively slow. I don't know how far it goes, though. It's still scary. Everyone though. inside both vehicles would make it out alive, most only receiving minor injuries. Okay. Four out of the five people involved were able to get out of their vehicles on their own. However, a woman in the pickup had been trapped due to the way the vehicle had dented from impacting the bottom of the ravine. Although, fire crews arrived minutes later and were able to free her. The road was closed for several hours for recovery operations. Two tow trucks were needed to get each vehicle out. What a horrible road to drive on. No thank you. This happened in May of 2021. The dash cam footage shows Michael Shackleford driving a San Antonio road after leaving his bank for work. As he's driving, a car passes him with one of the back doors open and a woman yelling for help. 
Oh, God. Reading the situation, Michael diverts from his original route and begins following the car while simultaneously calling the police. What the hell? Hey, I'm on, I need police ASAP. I'm on, I'm on 410 South by Ingram Park Mall. A lady is screaming outside her, her Ford, a gray Ford exiting Ingram Road right now. She's trying to get out of a vehicle and the guy won't let, no, she's not exiting. They got back on 410. I don't know, it says 410 South from Ingram, going towards, uh, like, Marbach area. After a few minutes on the highway, the car finally takes an exit. Now at slower speeds, the woman in the backseat sees an opportunity and exits the moving vehicle. What the... Military Drive, exit by the academy now. Okay. Military? Military Drive, we're in the frontage road. We're... She's screaming and kicking in the car. He's erratically... She's trying to get out of the car. She's opening the door. She's trying to jump out. She, she, he's sped up and he couldn't get out. She jumped out! She jumped out! She jumped out! She jumped out. She she, Ma'am, get in my truck! Get in my truck! <laughs> Whoa! I mean, I respect it. You know from his perspective, right? But I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to the police station right now. Oh, she actually got in. The one on Calabra, yeah. The two see a police officer and flag him down. What a guy, man. This person's a legend. I'm just laughing at that because I'm actually just hearing that. I don't know how some other people would react, but it's from a good place. You know how it is. They retreated to a nearby parking lot where a medical crew arrived. The woman was brought to a hospital as a precaution, but ultimately it was determined that she only suffered minor injuries. The woman had been taken against her will by her own husband, who refused to let her go. What the fuck? She had to resort to yelling out to nearby drivers for help. The husband was later found by police and arrested. What a shitty flipping partner you this are. This happened on a highway in Massachusetts. Driving is a man named Jeffrey Code. As he's listening to the radio and making his way down the road, a large slab of ice suddenly gets dislodged from the car in front of him and flies into the air. Oh! The slab smashes into Jeffrey's windshield, immediately shattering it. Mate, imagine that went through flipping hell. God damn, you can't see anything. Now completely unable to see, Jeffrey slowly pulls to the side of the road blindly crossing two lanes as he does so. He was unhurt, as fortunately the slab hadn't completely broken through the windshield, instead leaving cracks across the entire thing. Mate. It also damaged a side mirror and the windshield wipers. Jeffrey admits that he likely could have avoided the slab of ice had he slammed on the brakes, but then you're risking losing control and getting hit by other cars, like the one right beside him, which kept him from swerving into a different lane. Jeez, man, that could have gone so much worse. In July 2022, a small plane in San Diego had lost power mid-flight. The plane wasn't close enough to an airport. Oh, don't say this. I'm flying in less than a week. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Port, and this information was given to air traffic control. The two men inside the plane were instructed to perform an emergency landing on the nearest road. The cameras on this Tesla show exactly that from multiple different angles. Jeez. Imagine seeing that. Whoa, that car's just there itself, not even moved. The plane strikes a sign as it touches down. It was forced to continue driving up towards a second intersection where it hits an SUV. The plane lost a wing and it began leaking gas all over the road. The two inside of the SUV and the two inside of the plane were taken to the hospital. All of them suffered only minor injuries though. Oh god for that, wow. Authorities actually commended the pilot for the landing. 
He managed to keep the plane on the road, doing minimal damage considering the circumstances. Had he lost control, or even had the light to the first intersection been green, the entire situation easily could have resulted in much worse. Mate, that is insane. On April 2nd, 2015, Paul Yearly was driving on the highway to his work in his Ford Mustang when he suddenly started feeling nauseous. He started getting tunnel vision, and he realized something was off, so he turned off his cruise control. Wait, there's, there's actual footage of this? That's when he recalls everything going black, and he passes out while driving, his foot coming to rest on top of the gas pedal, pushing it to the floor. Oh my... Flipping... Oh... Oh, it's going back on the road. Mate, I nearly went on the road. Flipping hell. He narrowly misses a power line pole that could have ended his life and continues driving unconscious into a field. He's then steered back towards the highway, but luckily is I think I've seen this video, but from the passenger's perspective. Able to clear the hill. Unless it was another one. As he starts driving back towards the fence, he finally comes to, putting his hands back on the steering wheel and pressing the brakes. Imagine watching this footage back after you went through all this, mate. So close to crashing into that massive pole. This was the first and only time Paul had ever blacked out. One of the passing cars noticed him in the field and stopped to help him and call the police. He was taken to the ER. Multiple tests were performed to determine what caused the sudden loss of consciousness. The main cause turned out to be a hereditary low blood pressure condition. Paul was treated and was able to make a full recovery. Flipping hell. Crazy. This dash cam footage was captured on June 25th, 2021. It happened in Waverly, Kansas during one of the state's summer storms. The car was trailing a Jeep Grand Cherokee as they were approaching an intersection. Right as it starts to slow down, lightning suddenly strikes the car. What? Four lightning strikes hit the vehicle in quick succession. Four? Right after, all of the lights in the car turn off as the electrical system had failed. A hole was left in the door handle, and the tires to the car were blown out from the electricity traveling through them to get to the ground. Inside the car was a family of five. None of them suffered any injuries. What the Many cars now- Imagine that, you're literally in the car and you've been hit by four strikes in a row. And none of you get any injuries. That is flipping insane. The days come with safety features that shockproof the inside of the vehicle. Though it was no longer drivable. The electrical system had been completely destroyed. Crazy. Ronald Wiley was driving to West Hamlin, West Virginia on Route 10. Mate, some of these roads in the US are crazy. Flipping hell, man. You don't get any of this stuff in the UK. Roads surrounded by forest on both sides. As he was making a turn, he noticed a large tree in front of him start falling. He had time to break, but the tree took more down with it, forcing them to fall on top of him. Power lines along the road managed to stay up, allowing Ronald to back up from out of the trees. Jesus. The days leading up to this video, the area had received much more rain than was usual, which is likely what caused the trees to fall. Too much rain can overflood the soil holding the roots in place, leaving them with much less of a hold. In these conditions, the trees have an almost domino-like effect. By only a few seconds, Ronald managed to make it out unhurt, with his truck taking all the damage. God damn. Well, there we go. More disturbing things caught on dash cam footage. 
The guy in the third story is a hero. Not the third story. Yeah, I know, right? Fucking hell, what an absolute G that guy was. Um, yeah, this was wild. I'm not gonna lie, this was one of the crazy ones I think I've seen. But um, hopefully you enjoyed. And if you want more of this, let me know, and I'll be sure to do so. But yeah, until next time, like, subscribe, peace.